Hey Mosaic, Pastor Eric here. Just wanted to talk to you about some really super duper important things coming up on these next couple of weeks. First, story time. Um, when I was in Florida at my conference a couple months back, I met a wonderful Jewish man named Momo that uh, he does tours for churches to Israel, the Holy Land, and also in the footsteps of Paul in Turkey and Greece and Patmos and that area of the Mediterranean. And to make a long story short, after talking with him on some Zoom calls, he invited Kristen and me to join with one of their churches that is going on a tour to uh, be their guests. And so Kristen and I are basically getting a free trip to follow in the footsteps of Paul and uh, to go on uh, this, like, retrace his missionary journey. And so we are going on that trip here coming up this weekend, we leave for Greece and Italy, and we are super, super excited about that. I mean, an amazing blessing of God that really uh, all we had to pay for was our flights and everything else is covered. So uh, we just want to say thank you, Jesus, for that. Um, and with that, we want to tell you just about a couple of things coming up. So this Sunday, we are meeting normal four o'clock time. Uh, Mosaic will be at CCC, uh, and it's Father's Day. And so in honor of Father's Day, uh, Danny, uh, my friend who spoke last week for me and filled in when I was sick, he's going to be giving a wonderful uh, Father's Day message on uh, what it means to be a great dad, to be fathered by our Heavenly Father. And then after service, we are going to celebrate all the dads and everyone else with root beer floats. So that'll be this Sunday after service, after our 4 p.m. service, root beer floats. And just a reminder, kids are starting off in the sanctuary, in the Saul. We're all together just to have families worship together. Then Pastor Ambrose will grab the kids and they will head out. So that's this Sunday, uh, June 16th. Next Sunday, June 23rd, this is a change. A bunch of us, we did the serve day with Plymouth Covenant Church. And as we were serving and, and doing some work, uh, we were talking with Hollis and Stephanie. And as you know, uh, Stephanie's ready to give birth any day now. And it came up that there's a lot of house projects they really love to have done before the baby comes, uh, around that time the baby coming. And Pastor Amber and I talked about it. And we just said, man, let's as a church bless them. Let's show up. Let's serve them and say, what can we do to be the hands and feet of Jesus to a family in our church? So on June 23rd, instead of a 4 p.m. service, uh, Mosaic is going to meet at 9 a.m. at Tallis and Stephanie's house. They live in Brooklyn Park. Uh, Matt is going to lead some uh, unplugged worship. Maybe uh, you guys will have some donuts, some food, and then spend a couple hours doing some projects at their house, uh, inside the house, outside the house, just helping serve them so they can feel great for the, when baby number three comes. Uh, and then um, Brent has offered to smoke a brisket, and so we'll have some, some lunch together. Pastor Amber will, will share more details on that. But that's the 23rd, so meet at 9 a.m. in the morning, serve together, uh, worship. Uh, we'll also have something for the kids to do uh, during that time. So we want to encourage everyone to come, families to come, just be together. Let's be the hands and feet of Jesus. That's on June 23rd. Then Chris and I will get back from our footsteps of Paul journey. And then on uh, June 30th, we will meet at Weaver Lake. Uh, we have the pavilion there rented. And um, Cora and Troy, our missionaries that we support in Thailand, will be in town. They're going to be sharing about what God's been doing with them. So we'll gather at 4 o'clock at the pavilion. Matt will lead us in some unplugged worship. Cora and Troy will share about um, kind of what God has been doing in Thailand through them. Then we have Owen Fodstad and Jessica Rogers are going to get baptized. Yay, Jesus. So we're going to walk from the pavilion down to the lake there at Weaver Lake, uh, baptize them and anyone else who wants to get baptized. We'd, we'd love to, to see you get baptized. Uh, baptism is an outward expression of that inward decision to follow Jesus. Uh, and so we love it. We celebrate that. And then we'll walk back to the pavilion and we'll do a church cookout and potluck dinner. So we're going to encourage everyone to bring something to share. So this, again, this opportunity to eat together, to worship together, to hear from our missionaries, to celebrate what, what God is doing. That's on June 30th. 
Then on July 7th, we have moved our uh, Mosaic Partners meeting to that date. So that Sunday, I'm going to give a little kind of vision uh, talk about our church, about the kingdom of God and what we are called to do, uh, just kind of God's vision for us as a community. Then we will have our partners meeting right for service. We'll cater into Chipotle dinner. And uh, during that meeting, we're going to have a time of just kind of listening, sharing. Where do we feel like God is, is, what is he doing in our community? Where is he leading us? And we want to hear from all our partners. Just hear, God, what are you speaking to us? And this is the spiritual discipline of listening together, of discernment together, of saying, God, what are you doing in us, through us? Where are you leading us next? So that's on July 7th. And then July 14th, um, Andersons are out of town and we've got Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge Choir are coming in and sharing testimonies, sharing songs. Man, my heart is always moved when a Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge comes in. These are people who struggle with alcoholism, drug addiction, a lot of times losing their kids, just, you know, the worst of the worst. But they found freedom and hope through Jesus. And so now they're going to share their testimonies with us. And so we are encouraging, hey, you can bring your kids into service with you if you want them to hear these stories. Um, but we can't guarantee, you know, they won't hear things about, you know, drug addiction, different things, prison. But we'll also have kids ministry that Sunday available for anyone who wants it. Uh, and then the following week, July 21st, we'll be back normal 4 p.m. service. So that's these next couple of weeks. Um, I thought, man, it'd be a lot easier to video record this than to try to type it all out. So quick recap, this Sunday, Father's Day, Father's Day message, group your floats. Then the following Sunday, the 23rd, no evening service. Instead, we're meeting at Tallis and Stephanie's house to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Unplug worship, serve day, uh, brisket. It's gonna be awesome. The 30th, Weaver Lake in the evening. Um, hear from our missionaries, baptisms, cook out together, the 7th of July, partners meeting, uh, vision talk, 14th, Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge. So that's what's coming up, and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful time. Pray for Kristen and I as we leave for our trip, that everything goes great. Pray for our kids. Pastor Amber will have our kids for most of the time. What a saint. Um, she'll have our four kids plus her four kids. Uh, pray for Troy as well. Uh, we're just thankful for friends. Um, who can love on our kids. And so, yeah, dude, we just we love your prayers. Everything goes smoothly. Everything goes great. Uh, love you all. Uh, it's my uh, great privilege to be your pastor, and I'm just thankful for you all. Uh, we'll catch you soon.